Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Nurse Reviews Cells at Work Code Black. So you might have noticed that I didn't upload a video last week and there's a couple of different reasons for that. Uh, the first is that I actually developed a sty in my eye and a sty is basically an infection of your eyelid. So then when you get that you tend to have like this swollen red bump on your eyelid. Um, and when I get them, because I get them every now and then, when I get them I don't wear makeup because you don't want the bacteria to get all over your brushes and things like that. Uh, so yeah, no one wants to see me like that, trust me. The other reason is that it was just nice to kind of get a little bit of a break from video editing, editing and recording uh, because I also work full time. This YouTube thing is just kind of a fun hobby on the side. So yeah, it was nice to kind of get caught up on things like cleaning and laundry and grocery shopping and what have you. But yeah, we are back this week and we are looking at episode number seven, which is called Caffeine, Jealousy and Temptation. Now, I'm not going to lie that this is probably the episode I was least looking forward to because caffeine is my biggest vice. Um, I drink a lot of coffee <laughs> because I work shift work. Um, I work both day shift and night shift, so it basically feels like I'm constantly jet lagged. So I drink quite a bit of coffee in order to compensate for that um, and to stay awake and to turn around between the different shifts easily. So yeah, not looking forward to getting shamed, but um, yeah, that's enough rambling for now, and let's dive right in. お前のせいだ。お前が運んできた酸素のせいで。聞いたか。また例の事故だったよ。ああ、酸素が活性酸素になっちまう事故だろ。活性酸素。酸素が反応性の高い化合物に変化したものの総称。強い酸化作用があり
This is what's causing the quicker aging like we see here because those reactive oxidative species are affecting the cell at a molecular level all the way down to their DNA. Like he said, there are different things that can increase your risk factors for increased amounts of reactive oxidative species. Because reactive oxidative species are just a natural part of cellular metabolism, your body has different ways of dealing with it. And it usually has and it usually just uses different chemicals and things um, to fight them. So you might have heard the word antioxidant, um, especially when it comes to like nutrition. So different foods are tooted to be like antioxidants and those antioxidants are what are used to get rid of reactive oxidative species from your body. Certain known examples are vitamin C and vitamin E. Um, there are probably others, but I forget at this point in time. However, even though reactive oxidative species are naturally produced in the body, you can actually add to them just by your environment. So for example, smoking, drinking, certain drugs um, are known to increase amounts of reactive oxidative species in your body. Um, other things too that pretty well are involuntary causes are for example, exposure to ultraviolet light or certain pollutions in the air or what have you. Do I know if this is true? I have no idea. But um, <laughs> reactive oxidative species, like I said, I don't really know that much about. I'm sure there's somebody on YouTube who can explain it way better and tell you whether this is right or not. うわ、油切ってて汚い部屋だな。すみませんね。ああ、イラストなんですね。すみません、汚いなんて。大きいなさらず本当のことなので、皮脂線細胞、毛穴の横にある皮脂線内で分裂を繰り返し、皮脂を
一日に5回は食ってくるしお前の真面目な動機だって目じゃねえぞ血管拡張血流が増大しますさあ運びまくるぞエナジードリンク眠気覚ましや肉体疲労時の栄養補給用として販売されている飲料の総称覚醒効果があるカフェイン疲労回復血管の拡張作用のあるアルギニンなどが含まれる体力回復に効果的 Oh, caffeine. This is again where <laughs> all my shame comes from. I don't really drink a ton of energy drinks because they're not the greatest for you. But like I said, coffee is my biggest vice.、Um, <laughs> but yeah, caffeine. Caffeine is probably the most widely available and accepted drug. It is considered a stimulant, so it will produce effects like any other stimulant there is. So it makes you more awake, more mentally alert, increases your focus and memory, as well as increases your heart rate and blood pressure and all sorts of lovely things. What concerns me is the fact that they're saying that the caffeine rains down on them five times a day. Now, if you're drinking caffeine five times a day, that's a lot.、Um, I only drink like one coffee a day, if that. There are some days, like on my days off, I try not to drink any. Uh, but yeah, even my colleagues who say drink a lot of coffee drink maybe two or three cups of coffee a day, and like that's it. Now, a regular cup of coffee, which Wikipedia here defines as about seven fluid ounces, is about 115 to 175 milligrams of coffee. So you can have about like three cups and be fine. That being said, most cups of coffee are bigger, so I didn't measure this, but it's probably more than 200. It's probably more than 200 mils.、Um, so yeah, it, it definitely has more than you know, 115 milligrams in it, but. You know, if you drink too much caffeine, those stimulative effects will be seen to a much greater degree. So then you end up with restlessness, irritability,、uh, insomnia, headaches, anxiety, even. So, yeah, it's best to just do coffee in moderation and stay within your safe doses. Damn it! It's not a good thing. What? 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 カフェイン中毒カフェイン自体が持つ神経毒性によって引き起こされる中毒カフェインが切れると頭痛や疲労感などの離脱症状が現れる。Oh, caffeine addiction. They have officially called me out. <laughs> so, caffeine addiction definitely is a thing.、Um, if you drink Caffeine or coffee or what have you every day, your body gets used to it. Like a lot of other substances you can put in your body regularly. So, even last week, I felt the effects of it. Like I said, most days I drink about a cup of coffee. And I think I had a few days off. I had like three days off. And I think on the third day, I had this wicked migraine and I couldn't kick it. I took some medication for it and it just kept getting worse and worse. And then I thought to myself, you know what? It's been like three days since I've had a cup of coffee. So I went and got myself a cup of coffee, and I think about halfway through, headache was gone. <laughs> so I knew it was definitely、uh, from caffeine addiction and not just like a regular migraine because I didn't sleep enough or something. I've also had to go off coffee for a length of time. So I do have issues with acid reflux, which can be caused by coffee consumption, amongst other things. So, I realized that coffee was actually one of the triggers of that reflux, so I had to quit coffee for a time. I remember I felt like a zombie for a week. I would show up to work and just be so exhausted and would have difficulty with concentration, and I just felt like really irritable, and it was not a good time. I think it took about a week for me to kind of get over those withdrawal symptoms and. And I finally felt like I could function without coffee. But yeah, that week was absolute hell.
man, does anybody else who grew up in the 90s remember those commercials that they would show like in between your kids cartoons and stuff and it was all about like don't do drugs and don't give in to temptation or peer pressure or anything like that. They were all over the place and this is exactly what it reminds me of. You always have like those cool kids who are tempting that new kid or the younger kid to do the drugs and then the kid tries it and then he doesn't like it and yeah or he refuses and like and they say like, good job, kid, don't do drugs, stay cool, be in school and whatever. <laughs> do they even still have those nowadays? Because I mean, like, I don't have kids, so I don't watch kids shows anymore. And I mean, everyone nowadays has like Netflix and stuff. So people don't really have to watch commercials anymore like we used to. Um, but yeah, if you have kids and you see these kind of um, commercials telling kids not to do drugs, let me know because I'm curious. But yeah, that concludes our episode for this week. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have that much to contribute. This episode was pretty straightforward as far as the others have gone. It's primarily a poll about friendship and, you know, don't do drugs or caffeine or whatever. And uh, yeah, like I said, reactive oxidative species, not really my specialty or anything that I know a whole lot about. Because let's be real, even if I did know a lot about it, I'm not going to spend the whole episode going over all like the nitty gritty details because that's boring. I didn't even like it when I was in nursing school. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I will hopefully get the next episode out sometime soon. Um, but yeah, um, that's all for now. Bye!